Good morning, everybody. Miracle morning, everybody. Morning of showers of blessing, everybody. It's coming your way. Don't put on any umbrella because the rain will fall on you. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you today. A great morning. A gracious morning. A glorious morning. A morning of miracles. A morning of showers of blessing. A morning of deliverance. A morning of breaking every yoke. A morning when those who have prayed for a long time, prayers have not been answered. Today, the door is open for answer. Those who have tried and failed, today they will succeed. Why pull the tears of your children away? That long-standing problem, long-standing mountain today, this morning, they are removed in Jesus' name. Fill every heart with joy and every mouth with laughter. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. God bless you. You can sit down. We're looking at Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what has God wrought? God is doing something in your life this morning. According to this word, according to this proclamation, it shall be said of you, of you, and of you, what God has done. He's going to do something. He said, surely, no doubt, there is a certainty about this. There is no enchantment against the child of God. There is no curse for a child of God. There is no yoke we cannot break for a child of God. There is no stronghold against the believer, against your family we cannot pull down today. He said, if you are not sure about anything, you must be sure about this. That if you are a child of God, if you are giving your life to Christ, if you can say without any shadow of doubt that Jesus is my Savior, that Jesus is my Lord, he said in the same way you can say there is no enchantment, there is no curse, there is no yoke, there is no oppression for you. I'm talking to you this morning on no curse for God's children. No curse for God's children. You see, Balaam wanted to curse the children of Israel. 
he was hired, he was paid, he was employed to cause the children of Israel. That he should come and destroy them. Defeat them. Stop their onward journey to the promised land. But he himself now declared. He said, I have tried, I have failed. I wanted to bring out a curse upon the children of Israel, but God changed the curse into a blessing. So eventually he gave up. He said, as for the people of God, as for the children of God, there is no enchantment against any of them. That's what I came to tell you today. According to this infallible word of God, according to this unchangeable word of God, according to this word that has its pillars in heaven, there is no enchantment, there is no cause against your life. If there is any remnant of any problem there this morning, we'll take the broom coming from Calvary and sweep everything away. The three things we're talking about. Number one, the cancellation of the curse. The cancellation of the curse. Jesus is right there by your side. He will take the x-ray from heaven. He will look at every area of your life. Anywhere there is any resemblance of any curse. Any appearance of any curse. Calvary will say, I cancel that. The cross of Jesus in your life will demand, I cancel that. Christ, the one that cannot fail. The name that goes beyond any name and every name. He will use the blood flowing from Calvary. I cancel that one. The cancellation of the curse. Number two. The cure for the incurable. Something is going to happen to you this morning. The cure for the incurable. Where the knowledge of man has failed in your life, the power of God will take over. Healing for you today. Deliverance for you today. Miracle for you today. Total kill. Complete kill. That when you get up and that thing comes upon you from heaven, you will be so free it will look straight. Am I the person or is it another person? The cure for the incurable. Number three. The covenant for new creatures. The covenant for new creatures. Number one. Tell me. I said tell me. Tell the person by your side number one. The cancellation of the curse. I'm looking at Numbers chapter 23 verse 8. Numbers chapter 23 verse 8. 
How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? How can I curse whom God has not cursed? Remember, Balaam was employed to curse the children of Israel. Balak said, I know you never miss it. Anybody you curse is cursed. And he said, I'll pay you any amount of money. Destroy them for me. He didn't want to come. Because God said, don't go. Balaam sent back again. He said, if the money I wanted to give before is not enough, I'm going to give you more. Come by all means. You know the story. He went and God was not happy with him. The children of Israel did not even know Balaam was there. They didn't know what arrangement Balak was making with Balaam. They were not even by fasting and praying against Balaam. They were just going their way. They were just looking unto God. Just like you don't know the people that are trying to curse you. God knows them. He knows their name. He knows their number. He knows the road they are taking. He will send this angel with the sword and stop their way. But eventually, Balaam went. He did all the arrangements of the sacrifice and all the things he wanted to do. But God will not listen to him. God will not listen to your enemy. Eventually he came and he told, he told Balak, he said, it's no more in my hand. What you have employed me for, I cannot do it. What your enemies employ them for, they cannot do it. That's why he said, how can I curse whom God has not cursed? Or how can I defy whom God, whom the Lord has not defied? He said, for from the top of the rocks, I see him. And from his heels, I behold him. Lo. The people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. He's saying that nobody will swallow them up. Nobody will swallow you up. On the top of the mountain where God has placed you will be looking up like this and will say, who is that? Who is that? They say his brother so and so. I said, who is that? I said, who is that? Who is this on the mountain? It is sister so and so. It is done in Jesus' name. That's why Balaam declared from verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said, and shall he not do it? As he spoke in, and shall he not bring, make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless. He has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. God has blessed you and nobody can reverse it. Carl 
Calvary has poured blessing upon your life. And I cannot reverse it. Jesus the Lord. Jesus the Savior. Jesus the Mighty One. Emmanuel the Unconquerable. He has poured untold blessings upon your life. And praise the Lord this morning. Nobody can reverse it. Verse 23, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of him, and it shall be said of you, what God has done what God has wrought. Deuteronomy chapter 23. You will see the secret now in verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 5. It says, Nevertheless, the Lord would not hearken unto Balaam. You know, he, he still wanted to do it by all means. Because of the money he had been promised. Nevertheless, the Lord thy God will not hearken unto Balaam. But the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee. The Lord thy God. This God of heaven, is he your God? I said this God, is he your father? I said this Jesus, is he your savior? I said, this Redeemer who died on the cross of Calvary, he see your master, he see your Lord, he see the director of your life. Do you have your name in his book? Is he pointing you to the angels? That's my child, that's my son, that's my daughter. If that is so, the Lord thy God will not hack in unto your enemy. No matter where they go, they may go to the forest of Balak. Or go to the shrine of Balak. Or go to the valley of Balak. Or go to the secret place where Balak. They may offer seven goats, seven cows, seven chickens, seven pigeons. No matter what they offer, your enemy will fail. Every negative thing they try to do against you, the Lord will reverse it positive. Uh, let me explain what I mean. Look up here. I'm going to do some mathematics with you. Are you there? I can't see you. I said, are you there? Put on your hands. When they hit you small, and they want to bring a curse on you, they say minus five. That minus five, God will turn it to plus five. They say, uh -uh, we didn't do enough. They say minus 18. And God will turn it to plus 18. The more they are bringing you down, the higher you are climbing. They say that one that tried the course was not powerful enough. Then they go to another place. They say 
minus 90. And then they're looking for you. They want to find you down there minus 90. Where are you? I said, where are you? When they said minus 90, and God reverses it, how high are you? Plus 90. Then they say, I stop. They will stop on your case. Because there's a cancellation of the curse. You're a Christian. What have you done to people? All you have done to people is come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He will save you. He will forgive you. All you did is to help them. Maybe you have destroyed their idol. It's to help them saying, this is what is taking you, de de deceiving you and hindering you from heaven. Okay, I take it out of the way. Come to Jesus. Let us go to heaven together. You have not offended them. And then they take your name somewhere. Hey, pay attention. Whatever they do there, the curse, costless, shall not come. I'm looking at Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. I'm going to make it personal. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Say it for yourself. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. You are redeemed. You are set free. The next thing now is that all those things that are attached to your body, attached to your head, attached in your tummy, attached in your kidney, when you did not know that all the causes have been cancelled, that sickness is not your property. Thou shalt not steal. You must not steal what belongs to other people, drop their property, and send it back to them. Madness does not belong to a child of God. Where did you get that? That's not your property, it's another person's property. Send their property back to them. Kidney failure. Uh -uh. Jesus is living inside your heart. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I have opened the door to Jesus. I said, I have opened the door to Jesus. What are you? Did you open the door? You opened it a little? Opened it wide? Come in, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Jesus comes in there. Hold on. Hold on. You are a clean woman. They open the door for you. They say, this is your house. You come in. The first thing you do, as a clean woman, neat woman, you go around, you see any dirt, any litter, 
anything there. The first thing you do, you're a neat, clean woman. You take the broom and you sweep everything away. Do you think you're cleaner than Jesus? When you opened the door and Jesus came in, he looks inside. Any curse there? Any incurable disease there? Any kidney problem there? Any dirt there? He takes the broom and he sweeps everything away. Is Jesus still there? I said, is he still there inside there? Every morning, you clean up your own house. Jesus is inside there. You at the temple of the Holy Ghost. Every morning, he looks around. Anything that is there, he sweeps everything away. This morning, any remnant of any problem there. Wonderful. I said wonderful. He will sweep everything, every sickness, every infirmity, every difficulty. He'll sweep everything away in Jesus' name. It's going to happen to somebody there. It's happening to somebody there. You will be well. You will be healed. You will be strong. And God will add more years to your life. Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah chapter 33. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. He will show you great things this morning. Look at verse 6. Behold, I will bring it hells and kill. I will bring it health and kill. I will kill them. Who are they then? I will kill them. If they say, I may, I will kill them. I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and uh, truth. This morning is the morning of your healing. The morning of your miracle. The morning of the power of God upon your life. Showers of blessing. Showers of miracle. Showers of deliverance. And there's no exception. The shower is coming upon everybody. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together and he gave them power and authority over how many devils? Over how many devils? Over all devils and to cure diseases. So there is cure for the incurable. Number one, the cancellation of the curse. Number two, the cure for the incurable. Number three now, it is the covenant for new creatures. The Lord has a covenant with you. What when we say covenant? Some people do not know good covenant. The only thing they know is bad covenant. Let me explain to you. 
when a man and a woman go to the altar of marriage and then the minister conducting the marriage is asking the man you take this woman as your only wife you will cherish her you will protect her you will provide for her you will take care of her you will meet her needs you will clothe her and you will keep on caring all the days of your life till death do you part and he said i do that is a covenant and God has that covenant with you. The church is the bride of Christ. Every one of us, Christ is the bridegroom, is the husband. The heavenly father has given you to Jesus. Jesus, my son. Are you ready to be the husband, the bridegroom to this person? Do you take him? Do you take her as somebody you will care for? You will protect. You will preserve. You will heal. You will deliver. And then eventually you will take him home to live with you forever and ever in heaven. And Jesus said, I do. So he will take care of you. I said he will take care of you. It is the covenant the Lord himself has made with you. And that covenant includes healing you. Delivering you. Setting you free. This is your morning. I said, this is your morning. Look at Exodus chapter 15. Verse 25. Exodus chapter 15, verse 25. And he cried unto the Lord. And the Lord showed him a tree which when he had cast into the waters the waters were made sweet and there he made for them a statute a covenant and an ordinance and there he proved them and the water was bitter and there was nothing they would drink. And now they say, what are we going to drink? About three million of them. All of them together. All of us together this morning. I said all of us together this morning. Where are you? This covenant includes you. I said, this covenant includes you. In front of me here, are you there? Are you there? Wonderful. This covenant includes you here. Ah, choir hall, I see you there. This covenant I'm talking about this morning. Healing. Deliverance. Miracle, power, authority, prosperity. Are you there? It includes you. Hey, hey, hey. See you. Wonderful. Why are you there? Amen. Covenant. I said covenant. I said covenant. It's coming your way. It includes you in Jesus' name. 
Our overseers. Are you there? Your family. Your wife. Your children. Your local church. All those people back at home. We will send this covenant to them this morning. You are blessed. They are blessed. God has lifted you up. There is something on top of your head. The power. They wrote it on your head there. It is fulfilled in Jesus' name. Verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, I will do that which is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes. This is the covenant now. This is the covenant now. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. All those incurable diseases, they are for them. They are not for you. This one kills so and so. This one kills so and so. This one kills so and so. If for so and so, I am not so and so. I said, I am not Temedu. What's your name? Are you Lagbaja? Are you Temedu? Are you so and so? And then the word of God says, I I am the Lord that healeth thee. You've got it. I said you've got it. It's coming your way. The showers are coming right now. Testimony. Somebody has testimony this morning. Testimony. Somebody has testimony this morning. Miracle. Somebody has miracle this morning. Healing. Somebody there has healing this morning. Deliverance. Somebody has deliverance there this morning. Where is he? Where is she? Come up, tell the Lord. This is your morning. All those causes are cancelled. All those sicknesses are taken away. Showers of blessing. Showers of miracle, showers of healing, showers of deliverance is coming upon you right now. It's coming upon you right now. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I am the Lord that He let thee. His healing is coming for you. His deliverance is coming for you. His cancellation of every curse is coming upon your life you will receive you will receive you will receive it's coming your way it's coming your way it's coming your way showers 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 of blessing tell the lord what you need that sickness is not your property drop it there that cause is not your property. Drop it there. All those evil things are not yours. It belongs to the devil. Don't take anything belonging to the devil. Don't steal anything belonging to the devil. Send it back to the owner. Send it back to the owner. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I have a covenant with you. And his healing is coming your way right now. Miracle coming your way right now. You are the carrier of the miracle this morning. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You'll never be the same again. There is authority here this morning. There is power here this morning. That will roll all your problems away. 
there is power here this morning that will cancel that cause in your life. That will take that yoke away from your family. Miracle is yours. Miracle is yours. Jesus, your bridegroom, has a covenant with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Now this morning is not a morning of um, failure. I've been asking, asking, asking. I never get it. Cancel that word never from your life this morning. I'm always unlucky. Unlock, cancel that. Never use that word again. You are not unlucky. You are favored by the Lord. He will answer your prayer. Miracle is coming now. Healing is coming now. And he's looking for you. I said miracle is looking for you. I said healing is looking for you. I said deliverance is looking for you. If you are ready, raise up that hand. Healing. Deliverance. The cancellation of every yoke and every curse. And when you hear the final amen, check up. It is done. If you are all right, but you have somebody far back at home, you don't even need to phone them now. Just, just raise up your hand for them. After, after the final amen, you can check up on them. They will give you a testimony. I'm sure you are ready now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today. I bless your name this morning. A morning of miracle. A morning of healing. A morning of deliverance. A morning of setting the captives free. A morning of the cancellation of the curse. Lord, I come on behalf of every brother, every sister, every boy, every girl. Lord, I pray, send forth your miracle to everyone in Jesus' name. No impossibility here today. No incredible disease here today. No yoke that will not be broken here today. The anointing that breaks the yoke, break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. The power that rolls mountains away, roll the mountain of your life away this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, I sent forth your healing. I sent for the deliverance in your name. By your anointing, reach them now. Touch them now. Deliver them now. Do it in Jesus' name. That spirit of insanity. Pack your load and go in Jesus' name. That spirit of epilepsy and convulsion. I command you right now, leave that place. Come out in Jesus' name. All that mountain of swelling, swelling of tummy and swelling of back and swelling in the leg, every kind of swelling there caused by any disease, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That cancer, I command you. You are in the wrong place. There's no accommodation for you there. I command that cancer, come out in Jesus' name. Ulcer, that's not your temple. I command you, ulcer, come out in Jesus' name. 
pain, affliction, sorrow, suffering, all those things walking about in the body, I command you right now. You have no right to be there. Come out in Jesus' name. Pile, you cannot stay there. I command that pile be removed in Jesus' name. That poison in your blood system, that poison in your body, that poison, I collect all of you together. I command you right now. Get away from that body in Jesus' name. You search on something. You stretch on something. And since that time, heat in your body. Fire burning in your body. It's even burning in your head. After you stepped on that thing, after you sat on that thing, I command that poison now. I command that choke right now. Be removed in Jesus' name. That personality always coming in the night, pressing you down, pressing you down. And you want to cry, you want to shout, you can, it's like you're under their power, under their spell. You evil personality, I command you never to come back, come out in Jesus' name. The strange voices you are hearing, they want to turn you mad. Run to the street, remove your clothes, and cry, and shout. That strange voice, I command you, be silent right now. Come out in Jesus' name. Deafness of the ear, dumbness in your voice, the dumbness and the deafness, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, this is the time to receive your miracle of sight. Those blind eyes, I command you, be open and see clearly in Jesus' name. Paralysis, stroke, one leg shorter than the other. I send for the power of God unto you right now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Mother at home, father at home, uncle at home, cousin at home, relative at home that you are raising hand for right now. I pray the miracle will travel there. The power will travel there. The healing will travel there. Hear the word of the Lord. Anywhere you are, receive your healing in Jesus' name. Everywhere, in every hall, inside and outside right now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. Father, confirm it in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. You got it. I said you got it. I said you got it. Check up yourself. It is done. Amen.